So in this video, we're going to be checking out the fluid levels in our battery bank for the homestead. Now when you go and check your battery levels, and you go to top them off, you only want to use distilled water. Now there's a couple reasons for that. The first reason is you use water because when the batteries boil, that's what evaporates. And there's the actual water. The, the acid in the electrolyte doesn't really boil off all that much at all. And the second reason, the reason why you use distilled water is so that you don't get any imperfections, any sediment, dirt, anything like that in there. So when you check your batteries, at the very least you need a pair of gloves, like rubber gloves, latex, and then some kind of eye protection, in just in case, you know, something happens, and battery acid spills or splashes. So, let's get to it. All right, so the first thing you need to do especially if your battery bank is outside, is uh, give a good wipe. So when you pull the caps off, you know, nothing gets in there. Um, paper towels work just fine. And I'm only going to be doing one battery on video, and the rest I'll just do, you know, afterwards, just to give you an idea of, you know, how to do this. So... Go ahead, we'll do this battery here. And forgive my wiring, all this needs to be redone, put in a new new battery box. So this is all basically temporary. Alright, that's pretty good. So what we'll do is go ahead and pull the caps off. And what you need to look for. I don't know how well you'd be able to see it, but that the fluid, the electrolyte, is about a quarter inch above the plates. Um, you probably can't really tell how deep these are. These actually look pretty good. Um, if you have a hard time on your battery bank, you know, got a little bit of bubble in there. Um, you can get uh, like a straw or like a wooden skewer and mark it about a quarter inch up and then just put it down there on the plates. Don't put anything metal in there. Um, you don't want to cause any issues. You know, it could be very dangerous to put anything metal in there and touching more than one plate. So don't do that. I'll see if I can find one that's that needs water to be added to. Hold on a second. Alright, so I ended up finding one that needs it. As you can see, the, uh, the plates are exposed. Doesn't look like it's too low, but um, definitely needs some added. So, how I do it is I just get a uh, small disposable cup, paper ones, paper ones or plastic ones like this one, and I like it because you can fold it. You know, squeeze it in a little bit so it pours more accurately. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill fill this guy up. And we'll get some water in there. Alright. Now because I use such a small cup, I may need a few times. Oh no. It's already above the plates. Let's see here. I'm going to put a little bit more in there. Just to make sure it's a quarter inch above. There, that looks much better. Right, and that's pretty much it. Um, you can go through every single cell. And make sure they're all full, distilled water only. Um, maybe sometime in the future we'll talk about uh, trying to restore batteries and uh, what do they call it? refurbish batteries. You know, that's where you actually drain everything out and put new battery acid and electrolyte in there. 
but uh, for now that's simple enough um, be safe out there when you're doing this remember your gloves your glasses you know you don't want any accidents happening if you do want to go further in checking batteries you know like their actual life and you know like what condition they really are in you'd get a what's called a hydrometer and you'd measure the actual like electrolyte um, strength which would probably be a good idea for me to do that with these these are about two years old and then maybe I'll make a video about that but until um, next time keep kicking up dust for shizzle